The scientific method has abandoned us long before we have abandoned it. Okay, the melon farm is more or less tripled in size. Hey, remember that joke about the chickens consistently making your thing kind of pointless? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, took us some time, but we finally found the bypass for the melon farm. Mm -hmm. Where's the island? By the way. Uh, I have not yet seen it, so I assume it's still loading in somewhere. Oh, there they it is. There it is. There it is. <gasps> it has pandas on it! Oh, panda chickens. Okay, I'm gonna peel her up just out of curiosity at this point. Great. I will bring ladders. Can you also bring more peel her up materials? Because I've run out. Oh, yep. Got plenty of those. This is the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever done. Zloy, I can't attach ladders to those. You said you have pillar up, uh, pillar up materials. I mean, I do, but... Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You, you know full well I do whatever I can. Anyway, remember how we also found the bamboo and... Uh, yep, this, the silent has it. So, um, yeah. uh, that's fun. Also has cocoa beans. So I guess we can have, like, brown wool chicken now. Yay. At last. Actually, the cocoa beans, like, popped off right away. Ooh. It has a treasure chest. Oh, I bet it does. You don't have to bet. It's already... I, I, I told you it has. Ooh, okay. Jungle chicken. Jungle log chicken, even. Mm-hmm. Couple of carrots, couple of that, couple of this. Just, you know, the usual. Um, yeah. So far, so good. And also pandas, whom, honestly, I'm willing to just leave be up here, because... You know what happened to the previous one. Yeah, mm-hmm. We, we don't so need that crap. They're so wide as well. Like, <laughs> they're like they're, I don't know if I, I just haven't been around pandas enough or if they're modeled slightly different on Bedrock. These things look like double-decker buses. They're so <laughs> big. We could breed these pandas until we get one of the ones that sneezes, and then that's a slime farm. That's a dangerous game you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might start a panda breeding expedition over here. I mean, you could, you might. Oh, what? What? Fire chicken. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, kill me. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Apparently? <laughs> what? How's that done? How? What were you hatched out of? <gasps> okay. So you know uh, that... What is... What's going on? Why did our watermelon hatch a fire chicken? <laughs> that's I mean, not... That's not the nomenclature. It's supposed to hatch a water chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... We are, we are seeing some uh, unorthodox combinations. Here, I know, sure. right? Can we use cocoa beans to... No, we can't. We can't. We cannot. Assad, can we breed the fire chicken? No! No, we can't! <laughs> what? What is the point of view? Can we cook something on a fire chicken? I mean, I'm tempted to go down to the... to the airship and, like, figure out what is it... what is his... what's his deal. Uh, okay, so the pandas started moving again, which is good. Um, mm -hmm. The bad thing is that they are in danger of nudging each other off the island. <laughs> oh. And yep, there goes one of them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we, just, we just can't. We just cannot. We just cannot. Anyway, uh, grass plus leather equals jungle. I forgot to write that down. Um, fun. Dude, if this works, I'm actually really pleased with this. Uh, with what? Just having surrounded these pandas in bamboo. <laughs> like, there's so many areas that we can walk through, but I think their hitbox might be too large. I think they might be too wide to get through. Well, yeah, you were just saying how they're thick, so... Makes yeah, I mean, sense. yeah. But I didn't have any fences up here. I was like, you know, I can probably just make this out of bamboo, and... Wouldn't you know it? It seems to have worked. Although, having said that, once again, they are kind of refusing to breed. This is just like... I mean, pandas are supposed to be like this anyway. They're just kind of lazy. Yeah. But... I don't know. I was hoping that we'd at least be able to uh, try and breed a sneezing one. 
You watch. You, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna successfully breed a sneezing panda. You're immediately gonna get a slime chicken, right? You know, you know that's the. Yeah, that's the, the way only way gonna it's go. gonna, it's gotta go. That's literally the only way that this can happen. But also, uh, I do remember to this day that uh, the moment the sneezing panda were pandas were introduced, uh, the wrestling community attempted to make a farm out of them and unanimously declared that this is the stupidest thing you could possibly do. Well, and it yes, doesn't work whatsoever. It's the stupidest thing you can possibly do when the other option is building a slime farm. But yeah, eh. admittedly. Oh, we have a we have a rolling panda. So that's yay! <laughs> Watch it go by by off of the off of the edge of the world. Oh, and it sneezed and it dropped a slime ball. I I will <laughs> I will take my apology now. I have successfully gathered slime. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe it. I cannot. The, the rare soul get out. In the absence of a slime farm, I have acquired one slime ball, and I think that is worth something at least. Congrats! We can now successfully make one sticky piston. Yes, or or potentially another lead if we needed them for whatever reason. But the chicken catcher is too good. So yep, the baby panda can definitely get out of the bamboo cage. That's a thing. Bye, little baby panda. I look forward to you not surviving this at all. <laughs> and I'm so, so, ever so sorry. Oh my lord. The, the, the seed production needs to be so much faster and bigger right now for this. Mm -hmm. Especially now that we have uh, the leather guy who we have no idea about the recipe for. Not recipe yeah. for like it, but like what kind of recipes that offers. So mm -hmm. we need to run him through the entire thing. We have jungle that we have to run through everything. And we have melon that we don't even know. Although, one of the books, I'm pretty sure, had a recipe for a melon guy. Skeleton gravel, red sand, oak log, wool, leather, sand, red sand, cobblestone, wool. I'll ha Did I try cobblestone wool? I don't remember. Melon and oak logs gives you something. And that would be relevant if we had a melon. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there, slowly yeah. but surely. Yay, melon chicken collect... Um, <laughs> we have one. All right, as far as the uh, melon farm expansion goes, I am now out of dirt blocks, but I have been collecting a little bit of grass from grass chickens, mm. and I might just dig out some more of the island up here. I, in the meantime, I'm screaming at the melons. Mm -hmm. I, I hear you have to frighten them into growing. And it seems like nothing really does anything with the leather chicken. <laughs> Highly disinterested in everything. Now we just have the melon and the jungle guy. And also cobble and coal that needs to needs to be figured properly. Oh, what is what is this guy? Egg chicken mascot. What? Where did who's, you come from? I have no idea. Who is that? I s egg, egg chicken mascot. Is there... Oh my lord. There was supposed to be an egg traders here. And he just, I guess, fell Something into the void. Something killed it? Uh, also, I found the lucky blocks. Yeah, me too. I just noticed them. Alright. I I guess we have an egg chicken mascot. Egg mascot chicken. Like, an egg. A guy. We have a guy. No, I'm gonna don't... go to the airship just to... See what it actually produces. Collected by finding it from chicken egg trader in the world, this chicken type produces mixed chicken eggs, but it takes a while to produce them. So this is basically the loot box chicken. <laughs> I guess so. I just randomly mixed. decides some stuff to make. So today, as far as I'm, I understand, we got the cobblestone, the coal guy uh, all grown up. We got the leather ch uh, fella, who we pretty much already have figured out. And we got the jungle guy, who is a melon chicken and an oak chicken bred together. So that's a recipe that we uh, we now know, just because it's uh, written on the thing. So melon plus oak equals jungle, and more importantly, melon plus something else definitely is gonna equal something. You know, just 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 on a hunch. Just pr I promise you, it's, it's, it's gonna. So uh, yeah, we need to figure that guy out. And in the meantime, let's go check out the lucky blocks and what they have in them. I am already gathering wood so that I can bridge out there. I have never been more excited for anything. <laughs> yeah, this should be uh, a decent angle of attack. Yep. 
It's I sure you didn't go like way too low for this. Uh, I want to make a platform underneath so I can catch stuff if it falls down. Okay. Because otherwise I'm just breaking things and then they fall into the void and it doesn't help us. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, we wouldn't have gotten all of the, the creeper armor stand stuff last time if it wasn't for the fact that I built a platform underneath it. So that's the, the methodology I'm going with for a little while. All right. I'm going to go and attempt to do anything with these things. Yay! Allow me to watch from the bridge we built. We already built in a different spot that you could have used but didn't. Pro ladder moves, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Lucky block the first. Oh, that well, gave me a ton of Well, that's not awfully ball. lucky, but uh, that's some luck. I mean, you didn't explode. I didn't. Neither did the items that it gave us. That is... Uh, okay, we have eight purple wool, two cyan wool, three blue wool, three white wool, some white terracotta, and some gray terracotta. I assume you can assemble that into some sort of logo or face or something. I am pretty sure that's just literally your jacket. <laughs> I mean, minus the purple, yeah, it's not too far off. All right, uh, there's a redstone block in the middle of this, which I will... I mean, I would mine out if I had an iron pickaxe. All right, moving good on. Ones, good one, picks. Uh, that one just turned into a block of coal, I guess? <laughs> which I now have, so great. Uh, this one... Uh, gave me four absorption hearts. That was like I'd just eaten a golden apple. Yeah, yeah. You, you're gonna need it. There's three more blocks, so... This is true. Oh, that one was the hmm. snack box. Awesome. Which had... We finally get to try some fried egg. Yeah, two fried eggs, two apples, two spider eyes in a dead bush. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is... Oh, a chest. <laughs> oh, containing loot. It's like a desert temple chest. <laughs> wow. It's got a golden apple in it, three emeralds, some gold, some bones, rotten flesh, and sand. Nice. The pièce de résistance, the inevitable TNT one. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> um... Well, well the, totem, the totem fell into the void, but hey, that was Don't fun. worry, it will spend itself on the way down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all in all, um, I think that went pretty well. <laughs> the totem of Undyne falls into the void and we just hear the, the sound of it being used. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. I should have dove in after that, considering that I wouldn't have died. Actually, myself, yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, hey, our well. melon chicken grew up in the meantime, so uh, next up, we actually do get to try some melon recipes. Absolutely. See what we can cook. But uh, that's actually gonna be it, gonna be it for today's episode. We did just a ton of unlocking. Honestly, I feel really good about today's today's today. The melon the melon chicken has a weirdly disturbing like physical body it's like the the, the the stem at the top in particular just feels very odd to me yep there's there's something about the exact like spine having that kind of bump mm -hmm. really doesn't really compute but hey we got a melon chicken now if we get another one like that we can potentially uh substitute this entire farm with just a, a, a pen yes but something. even then the uh the melon farm is pretty productive at this point it, it is doing what i wanted it to do which is producing melons every time i turn around yeah so, uh... it's it's what you want from uh, a nice bach cha anyway mm. anywho uh that's gonna be it for today's video so thank you everybody so much for watching this has been slow xp you can barely see me <laughs> i just if i stand in this exact way and shift the only thing that's visible is my chicken hat <laughs> come over try it <laughs> That's just two chickens. <laughs> ah, stay there. So this has been Sloy XP, this has been Pixel Riffs. To be continued, have a good one. Bye bye. I don't know what it is about you. But you got me feeling some kind of way. I'm gonna dive right in. I don't care. Give me the word. Tell me what to say. I think I know what